Hello, this is Ben from Ben TV, and I'm recording this third episode of my Let's Play series. And I believe I said this episode that I was going to be adding a farm. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting some more seeds so that I know that I have enough seeds for sure. Um, I'm fairly sure that I have enough. I've got some in my chest here. 39, let's just go 40. We can go four rows of 10. And this is actually going to be a slight problem because I don't have a bucket to transport water. So, I think, ooh, is that a zombie with chain mail? Or chain armor, or whatever it is? Here, let's kill it and see if we get anything nice. Oh, no, nothing, just bones. So, I think I'm going to change my plans here a little bit. Because I don't have any, uh, whatever you call it. Ooh, that's pretty bad. I don't have a bucket. So, I'm just going to grow, like, one or two down here. By the water over here, so that I can take these sheep home. You know what, I'm just actually going to kill the sheep right now. Um, if I need to make more sheep, then I'm sure that I'll be able to find some. It's just I need a bed so that I don't uh, get murdered in the night because for the past couple nights I've just been kind of like, I haven't been recording, but I've just stood there and done nothing and just killed anything that came to my door. So that's why I have some gunpowder and string and spider eyes and stuff, but for the most part I haven't done anything off camera that you I haven't already said but um let's explore this area a little bit eat some food so I don't get hungry yeah there are more sheep over here and it looks like there's a swamp biome off in the distance over here oh no never mind that's a jungle so actually I think I'm gonna take some stuff over here we can start a um, cocoa bean farm if I can find any cocoa beans which could be nice. Don't really know what you can do with them. I know you can make cookies, but I think that might be about it. But, hey, cookies are good, you know? They're sweet. They taste like cookies. Oh, I saw some over here. Oh, there's coal there. I'm not going to go there right now, though, because I don't think I have a pickaxe. I have enough stuff to make one, though. So once I get these cocoa beans, I will... Make a pickaxe. Oh, I've got some lag. Um, I've got two. That should be enough to start a small farm. Gotta get some wood. Probably get more than I actually need because it's always gonna be better to have more, like I said. You want more in case you ever need more. That way you don't have to come back all the time. And. Even if I get a sapling, that'd be helpful too, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So I'm going to harvest this tree, and actually I'm not going to cut, because I don't know if maybe someone watching this doesn't know how the best way to harvest these trees are. Now, I'm not saying that this is the best way, but I'm saying that it's a pretty good way. You pretty much just spiral upwards until you get to the top, and then you can destroy everything from the top. And jungle trees give you insane amounts of wood. Like, seriously, it's not even... It, it's a stupid amount. Like, I don't know, something close to a stack, I think it is, maybe more. I've already got half a stack, and I've not even cut down all the parts yet. So, you keep going like this, up, around. And once you get to the top, like it seems I have... You just destroy these parts. And my axe is broken, so that's not good. So, let's build another one. Uh, cobblestone. We can get that later. And then you just kind of stand here, you try to get to the corner, and you just start spinning around while you destroy these. And you can destroy the ones on the side too, like this. And you might have to destroy some leaves, but you keep going down in a circle. And then eventually you can just pick up all your stuff on the ground.
So I think that's probably the best way to harvest these trees. It does take a while, but you know, it's the safest way for sure because you're not going to fall. And look at that, I got over a stack from just that. And there's more over here that I forgot to pick up. But definitely worth the time. Um, so I'm going to head back home now. See, I got a sapling. That's what I actually wanted. I'll head back home now. And I'll resume the video when I get there. Alright, so I was running back to the house and I found some sugar cane. So I just thought I'd pick that up because sugar cane can be useful to build books and stuff once I get enough things to make an enchanting table. Uh, you can actually enchant books with the enchanting table, which is really helpful because then you can just use an anvil to add everything. And I think it's just a really efficient way to get a pretty good enchantment. So I'll be right back to the house in a second. Okay, so I'm back, and you might notice a small difference from last time. I made a, uh, whatever you call it, a double chest, just so that I'd have more room for storage. So, um, the bed's just gonna go here. So, now I'm good there. And, um, yeah, I can only see what I do. But, let's see, where do I want to start this cocoa bean farm? Um, why don't we just do it right over here? One there, 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 and there for now. Oh, that does not look good because I placed it sideways. But if we go like that, then that's a wall. It gives us a good, I think it was, let's see, 662, no, 663. That's 15. I'm eventually going to be able to put on here at a time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, and then since it's outside, they should grow. And um, it should work pretty good. So there's a cocoa bean farm started. Um, I don't really have much time to do anything else this video, but next video we're going to go mining so that I can actually, I can get iron to make a farm so I can have a bucket. But tune into the next video. Bye.